What's up guys, Joe Snow right here, welcome to iDevice Central channel. Today I have for you great news. If you want a jailbreak without using any computer or if you are afraid of using the Chinese application anymore. So, actually, iCracker iDevice and Andrea Bentivena fixed their website where they bundled the uh, Pangu application that actually allows you to remotely jailbreak your device. This is based on Pangu's build, on Pangu's application, and it's being delivered using a certificate, an enterprise certificate, in order to sign the application app. You probably know this application actually was created after the uh, after the uh, Pangu released iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak, but a uh, day after that or two days after that, Apple managed to patch the certificate behind it, rendering this website created by iCracker iDevice and Andrea Bentivena completely useless. Now they managed to fix it somehow and you can you can use it and you can jailbreak without using any computer or without even using the Chinese application. Well, is it safe? This is one of the best questions I've heard when I tried to contact people about it and I, when I asked people about it and yes, they want to know about the, um, the safety this application proves. Well, when you're talking about jailbreak, jailbreaking is not something that is safe at all. Well, you jailbreak, you allow yourself to install tweaks. Tweaks come from third parties that are not signed, that are not verified by anyone, not even by Apple. Therefore, it when you say jailbreak, you're not seeing safety, but this application is safe and this website is safe or more safe than the Chinese 25pp application because using this application won't require you to use your Apple ID and your password. You do not have to enter them anywhere in this website. Now keep in mind this website is only compatible with 64-bit devices because as I said it's just a wrapper to Pangu's application which is in fact compatible only with 64-bit devices not with 32. For those who still wonder if the 32-bit um, device jailbreak will come, Pangu has said on their um, brand new jailbreak reddit account that they are not planning to create any 32-bit device jailbreak yet and probably they will never do it and they confirmed they are not going to create any untethered variant for this iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak right here. So it will be semi-tethered and probably will remain this way until iOS 10 gets released probably during the uh, fall updates. So what about this website? What you need to do if you're on a 64-bit device is to simply enter on jailbreakme9.com, scroll, click download now, and you will be asked if you want to install an application called PP Jailbreak. It's basically the PP Jailbreak, you click install, but you will need to actually stop the um, internet connection, you need to go in airplane mode when the installation is half processed because this application was banned from being installed by Apple. Therefore, it requires this workaround. Well, as I said, you don't need to insert your Apple ID nor your password, and this makes the application pretty good. What about the uh, certificate? Well, when you say certificates, you say something that can be patched. And uh, in order to patch them, Apple simply needs to find the certificate or to discover with which certificate from uh, which developer the application is signed, then to simply revoke that certificate and the application will no longer be uh, signed and you will no longer be able to, to install it. This is the problem, so this means that this website can be down at any point, uh, it can be patched at any point. As you can see, unable to download the application. This is because my device is 32-bit device. I'm going to show you here on the... Um, on the Action Center, I don't have Night Shift, which means it's an iPhone 5, but if your device is 64, it will start installing. Then you simply run it and follow the tutorial. They also provide here the uh, tutorial. Well, so what's the problem? The, uh, the problem is that the uh, these devices are being controlled remotely by Apple. They can verify what is being signed and what is being not signed, and therefore they can stop 
the uh, application from working and the website can get down at any point. If you happen to, to get the website down, you will need to use the computer method. But you can use the uh, computer method in English. I have a tutorial presented right here on my channel. And uh, if, you're, if you're scared about the uh, Chinese Assistant 25PP application and jailbreaking with it after the uh, this bunch of uh, brushes that emerged in the last days, you can use the English variant which is safe according to Sorik, the creator of Syria. In this video I created yesterday, we talked about the safety of jailbreaking and about 25PP application because a lot of people had some issues, they lost money, people uh, complained on Reddit about the fact that they lost money from their PayPal account, Western Union accounts, and so on, and the money were sent to Chinese uh, addresses. Well, I I simply can't believe Pango would do that, nor 25PP. Maybe somebody found an exploit to 25PP application and he knew that the application will get to be used by everyone in the world, and he probably made use of that exploit and uh, made people believe 25PP or Pango do, did it, but I don't know where is the truth. I'm going to keep you updated on this thing, but I can't believe that Pangu would ruin their, um, their honor on this kind of thing. And they confirmed on their Twitter that they did not do that. But yeah, you can check this video if you're <laughs> completely paranoid or if you want to get to know what happens. But also here in this video, I talked with you about the fact that they released the English version, which no longer requires you to use the Chinese application, which people believe is not safe. But in fact, you use an application created by Sorek, the creator of Cydia, called Cydia Impactor. I have a tutorial on how to use that, and I'm going to link it in the card up here or in the description. So, about this um, this website, it's a pretty good website, as I said, created by iCrackerI device and Andrea Bentivena from Black Geek Tutorial, and it's a wrapper to Pangu's application, and you can simply use it. It's, it's as simple as clicking download and installing the application, then running it, but keep in mind that the application will basically search in uh, the background for certificate updates on 25pp servers, so no, your phone will not connect to to this website, jailbreakme9.com, to search for certificates. So if you're paranoid or if you think uh, Black Geek Tutorial or iCrackerI device are not trustworthy sources, you don't have to be afraid of it because the only way uh, this application is contacting the internet is by going through 25pp channels to simply search for enterprise certificates. So your phone will not be remotely controlled by CrackerI device or by Andrea Bentevena. And the uh, verifications in the background are being made to prevent the certificate from being patched or to update the application with a new certificate to get signed. Uh, where is the problem? The problem is that, as I said, Apple can patch those certificates. And another problem is that you have to do it from time to time. If you restart your phone, you will have to do it again. And if it happens for you to restart the phone and the application is no longer signed because Apple patched the certificate, you will need to use the computer method. And uh, yeah, you have to replace the applications, but as long as it works, you can use it with no problems. Here, as I said, those guys has given um, have given a lot of information about the application and the credits right here, you can see them. So uh, yeah, this is basically how you can simply jailbreak without even touching the computer. What you need is that website, a connection to the internet that you're going to, to close when you're installing the application, and you need to pay attention to the website to make sure the uh, certificate is okay. And I'm, I'm, I want to talk to you about the um, one year certificate, it was something like uh, how to get one year certificate for Pangu application or something like this. Now, the truth is that there is no certificate that lasts one year. And as I said, uh, no matter if you're Pangu or if you're 25PP or if you're any other individual having a developer certificate, Apple can patch your certificate each and every time. So um, those certificates are supposed to get patched, to, re to get renewed, and so on, Pango will find a method. You, you won't get stuck without a jailbreak, but as I said, this is 
definitely a very great website. You can try if you want not to touch any computer or if you want to jailbreak on the go. And yeah, the link is in the description. Do not forget to check my channel if you want to get to know how to install the um, jailbreak using the English version released for 64-bit devices and using the CDA Impactor. And yeah, do not forget to come to the channel and subscribe to keep you updated with the jailbreak news. Thanks for watching, I'm Joe Snow, till the next time, peace out.